Hello, and thanks for watching our time with Anderson. In this video, we're going to go over how to find the light in your house to capture a nice, even, well-lit portrait. Rule number one, use what is called diffuse or soft light. You can find this by looking for a not overly bright window or door and taking photographs in natural light with that window or door in the early morning or the late afternoon. Be sure to turn off any indoor lights that are on as that will produce mixed colors. Look through your house and maybe take a few pictures off the wall to get a simple background. And finally, make sure your light is directed at the model. It's coming over the back or shoulder of the photographer and hitting the model's face in a clean way that produces soft, even looking shadows. Okay, so here we have our model with our back, nice clean wall here. As you can tell by both her shadow and the shadow up in the corner, that the light is coming right here from the door. So the light's coming in, it's bouncing off this nice white door. It's being filtered by both the trees and the walls and it's going to come right here onto her. The nice part about this is it's coming off right about my right shoulder. So where I'm standing to take the picture. So the light right here is coming right over my right shoulder at a 45 degree angle onto the subject. So let me grab that. Window lighting can sometimes actually end up being harsh, although it is usually the best lighting to select. During certain times of the day or certain facing directions of windows, you can get the harsher linear shadows that you see in this photo. Although it's a nice picture, the shadows are angled and cutting across her face. A great way to create diffuse, soft, even lighting is by pulling some white blinds or taping or clipping up a white sheet or even taping up a plain old white piece of paper. In this photo, the model is looking out the window. The window is facing away from direct sunlight and she is facing into the light. In this next shot, the model is facing away from the window. Although it works for the photo, it's definitely a more dramatic type of lighting. It doesn't have the even bright coloring that we went for a traditional beauty portrait. In this next one, again, it works for the mood of the photograph. In this shot, the photo is taken in either early morning or late evening. And so the light is soft and it has a warm, lovely orange color. Finally, in this last one, we've got some really great even diffuse lighting. Most likely, there's no actual direct sunlight hitting the model's face through the window. Most likely, the window is not facing east or west, but either north or south. Or it's early in the morning or later on in the afternoon, or perhaps it's being blocked by a tree, an awning, or a roof. Overall, the lighting is clean, bright, and even, and the shadows are soft. See coming in right here, the, um, the, there's a, like a little soft shadow on this side of the face, right? And this side of the face is nice and well lit. Now it's actually a bit astonishing what your lens can capture, even with an iPhone. When you take some time to set up your light, and direct your model. Well lit. Now notice if she turns the other direction. So turn the other direction. Okay, now that can actually be kind of dramatic. So what's beautiful right now is because she's in a three quarter length view is that now the shadows right here, which is actually sort of accentuating and carving out her profile. This view is called three quarter view meaning that the subject is turned about three quarters away from the photographer. This technique is something
very nice that can accentuate the nose and lips when you turn slightly away, having the broader side of your face face the light. And then the nose and lips are carved out with shadows. And there's two things we can do with this. So turn and face the front. Okay. Now if she turns and faces the front, um, we still have a really nice shot, that 45 degree angle of light. But we do have that shadow in the background, but she can step forward a little bit. Step forward. Boop. Um, or we can also bring something up next to her. Like, for example, this is just this is just a white calendar. And you'll see right there when I bring it up next to her face, I'm purposely including it in the video that it lightens up that cheek there a little bit. And that's called a bounce card. Okay, on to our photography set. Just to take a quick look, if I do try to use this door light and come all the way around to this area, that is what happens. Our model is exhausted. But this angle of light, however, is a lot better. If I rotate over here, go ahead and look at me. So see, that's why I have most of her face actually in shadow. So as you can see from this photo, you really wanna make sure that you find the light first and definitely take some practice shots. Walk around your subject. If you're doing a self portrait, have someone model for you just to find the light or grab an old stuffed animal and use it as a dummy model. Taking a careful look and walking around your subject. As you can see in this part of the video, the light dramatically shifts when I move to have the light coming over my shoulder as the photographer and hitting the model more straight on. Practice with this quite a bit and really look for that nice, even diffuse light. In addition, direct your model and encourage them quite a bit. If indeed it is going to be a self-portrait, don't worry, you can try lots and lots and delete anything you don't like. Let me know how it goes.